Hey all, so you're in charge of designing a blimp that'll move at 15 miles an hour through the air. And to decide on what engines to use, you need to be able to predict the drag force on the full-scale blimp. And to do so, you place a scale model that's uh, nine times smaller than the full blimp in a moving water channel in the laboratory. And then you measure the force of drag on, uh, on that blimp. So we need to determine, first off, we need to determine the water velocity needed to ensure that the uh, flow characteristics are the same between the model blimp and the full scale blimp. And if you do the dimensional analysis on this problem, you'll find that there are only two pi terms, the Reynolds number and the coefficient of drag. So in this case, if the uh, Reynolds number for the model is equal to the Reynolds number of the prototype, then the coefficient of drag for the model would equal the coefficient of drag for the prototype. So if the Reynolds number are the same, even though we've got a blimp, uh, this full-scale blimp is in air, in this model blimp, it's nine times smaller, and it's flowing through water. If we get the Reynolds number the same, the flow characteristics uh, around these blimps will be exactly the same. So let's expand this out. Here's uh, the density, velocity, and length scale for the model, and the viscosity. So in this case, it would be the density of water, the viscosity of water, and the velocity of the water that we're interested in. And here, the uh, Reynolds number for the prototype, the density of air, the viscosity of air, the length of the full-size blimp, and the velocity at which it's flying, which is 15 miles an hour. So let's rearrange this equation, and figure out the velocity that we need to drive, or we need to flow the model, the velocity of the water we need to flow the water through, and rearranging it, we find that uh, it's the uh, velocity of the prototype times the ratio of viscosities, the model viscosity over the prototype, ratio of the densities, and the ratio of the length scales. And if I plug in numbers, the, full, the prototype, the full-size blimp, will travel at 15 miles an hour. Here's the viscosity of water, so the viscosity of the model case, and the viscosity of the air is uh, this value. And then the ratio, here's the density of air and the density of water. And here's the length scale, the length of the prototype divided by the length of the model. The prototype is nine times bigger than the model, so we have this factor of nine in here. And if I plug in numbers, I come up with a value of 6.75 miles per hour. And this is the speed that we'd need to have water moving over the model blimp to, to ensure uh, flow characteristics that are similar between the model and the full size. That'll ensure that the coefficient of drag for the model is the same as the coefficient of drag for the prototype. So you ran the experiment and came up, we've measured a value of 700 pounds is the drag force on the model. And using that, let's estimate the drag on the prototype and the power of the engines needed to move the blimp through the air. And to do that, we'll use our second pi term, the coefficient of drag. And here's how the coefficient of drag relates to the drag force. Uh, the coefficient of drag times a half times the density of the fluid is velocity squared uh, multiplied by the length uh, squared. So if we've maintained the same Reynolds number, the coefficient of drag for the model is equal to the coefficient of drag for the prototype. What I'm going to do is solve for this equation, I'll solve for the coefficient of drag for both the model and the prototype, and I'll equate those two. And this is the rearranged form of it. I've got here on the left is the force of drag on the model, which we'll measure in the laboratory. The coefficient of drag of the model, yeah, the density of water, the velocity of water flowing over the model, and the length scale of that model. And similarly, for the prototype, I've got the coefficient of drag, the prototype, density of air, the velocity and length of the prototype, both squared. So the important thing to recognize, because we've, we've maintained similitude, the Reynolds numbers are the same. That means the coefficient of drag of both the model and the prototype are the same, and they cancel out. So let's calculate the force of drag on the prototype by rearranging. So we just need the ratio of the densities, air and model, the uh, ratio of the two velocities, which we now know, and the ratios of the length scale, which in this case would just be 9, uh, 9 squared, and then times the force of drag acting on the model. So I'll plug numbers into this, and I get a ratio of 1 over 1,000, the density of air to water. Here's the velocity of the prototype, 15 miles an hour. Here's the velocity of the model, which we calculated it would need to be 6.75 miles an hour to maintain similitude. And then here's that uh, ratio of 9, the scale of the prototype to the model. And here's the uh, force that we actually measured on the model, 700 pounds, when we did the experiment. So the actual drag on the prototype is 280, 280 pounds. And it may seem strange because we're talking about something that's nine times bigger and the drag force we just found is, you know, about half or less than half that of the prototype. But also consider that the blimp is flowing through a, uh, air instead of water. It's an inviscid fluid that's, uh, the density is a thousand times less. So in reality, even though it's nine times bigger, the drag force is actually less. And finally, the power needed is the drag force on the prototype 
times its velocity. So the drag force we estimate is 280 pounds, and its speed is 15 miles an hour. And if we use some conversion factors, 1.47 foot per second per mile an hour, and there's one horsepower for every 550 foot-pounds per second. So we've got miles an hour cross out, we've got foot-pounds per second, which is dimensions of power, and here's the conversion we can calculate it in horsepower, in which you calculate the power needed by the blimp's in engines is 11 horsepower.